Representative Louis Gohmert is going to question Attorney General Eric Holder here. And it's going to be your normal run-of-the-mill right-wing bullshit that he'll spew. But listen closely to what Holder says at the end here and see if you catch it. Let me ask you, do you think someone who believes marriage is between a man and a woman violates the civil rights of a same-sex couple? Somebody's personal belief? Yes. No. How about if they have a business and they believe that? If they have a business? If a business and has a, a... If it's a if it's a private business and the owners of the private business believe mar marriage is between a man and a woman, are they violating a same-sex couple's civil rights in your opinion? Well, that's obviously a matter that is under um, consideration by the courts, and I, we have taken a position on that. I wouldn't want to um, get into something that is, is a pending matter. Well, it is your opinion that matters on whether you tell attorney general, attorneys general how to act in the states or how you approach uh, businesses or individuals that uh, have this biblical view that the president had when he was a senator in 2008. So I thought it was rather important. Well, let me ask you. The time uh, of the gentleman has expired. Unfortunately. The chair recognizes the Love gentleman. asparagus. Did you catch that? He said, good luck with your asparagus. Now, what does that mean? Only the political junkies are going to know what that means. That's a reference to the last time Gohmert was in a shouting match, I believe with Eric Holder also. And at the end of it, he got angry. And he said, don't cast aspersions on my asparagus. Now, what does that mean? Your guess is as good as my guess. Nobody really knows what it means. In reality, it's probably just the case that Louis Gohmert is so fucking stupid that he thought asparagus meant something else. Like, don't cast aspersions on my reputation, don't cast aspersions on my ideology, my belief system. I don't know what he was trying to say, but the word asparagus is definitely not the right word. So he sounded like a fool, he sounded like an idiot, and he is an idiot. Which gets to the point of me talking about this story. Everybody in Congress knows, I mean, Attorney General, General Eric Holder knows, you know, people in the executive branch know, everybody knows. They roll their eyes when Louis Gohmert walks in a room. They've seen the fucking endless clips of him saying ridiculous things. I mean, when he said President Obama is trying to bring back the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire? Does he even know what that means? No, he probably doesn't even know what that means. Of course he doesn't know what that means. <laughs> He's American! <laughs> the Ottoman Empire? All right, okay. Uh, how many other things has he said? We did a whole long compilation of the dumbest things he's ever said. It was one of my favorite secular talk videos of all time. It's up on the YouTube channel. You can check it out if you want to see it. But uh, to even, so, okay, putting aside the joking and the realization that everybody in Congress doesn't take him seriously. I mean, he said it in such a snide, snarky way, too. Like, yeah, uh, good luck with your asparagus. Fucking idiot. Uh, but let's actually answer what he was trying to say there. See, he thinks he's doing like this intellectual gotcha thing, Louis Gohmert, when he says, yeah, well, is it violating somebody's civil rights to be against gay marriage? And Eric Holder was like, well, what do you mean? Gay marriage personally? So, like, if it's just their belief to be against gay marriage? No, of course not. Because you can believe whatever you want to believe. It's a free country, you know? You can believe anything. If you want to believe that fucking Hitler didn't, uh, you know, uh, do the Holocaust, you're wrong. But okay, you can believe that. Nobody cares. Go right ahead. If you want to believe that Earth was created 116 years ago by a bunch of uh, ferrets, giant ferrets that occupied Jupiter and they used a magic wand and created us, by all means, you believe whatever the fuck you want to believe. You're allowed to be a, a, as blithering a racist or a sexist as you want. We don't police thought. So, of course, you could believe whatever you want to believe. But, yes, it is a civil rights violation if you refuse service based on that. If you say, well, hey, look, you're gay, get out. Yes, that should not be allowed under law. Absolutely. For the same reason it shouldn't be allowed under law to say, hey, you're a woman, get out. Or, hey, you're a Mormon, get out. Or, hey, you're black, get out. And, or are you in favor of arbitrary discrimination, Louis Gohmert? Oh, are you? Is that what you're in favor of? 
You just want anybody to kick anybody out for any reason whatsoever. It doesn't have to be legitimate. It could be as arbitrary as you want it to be. No, look, that's the point, man. The point is, uh, under law, you should not be allowed to arbitrarily discriminate against people about things that they don't have any control over. You don't have control over the color of your skin or your gender or your sexual orientation, so that shouldn't be a detriment, okay? So, yes, that is a civil rights violation for uh, a business owner to kick out somebody simply because they're gay. But I love how he argues as if he's nailing it. Like, oh, I'm gonna get him on this one, watch! Because he knows I'm right. No, no, Louis, nobody knows you're right. You don't know you're right because you're not right. You're a sad, sad child. You're in way over your head, and you should not be anywhere near Washington, D.C.